Hello, welcome to the video. Today is going to be a finish a sketchbook with me video. It's really just me drawing and like me talking a bit about drawing in my sketchbook and I finish it from April 5th to April 8th and I think I had about eight spreads for this sketchbook left and I was near the end and I was like I think I can finish this in a week like it's been a busy week with other art making and like so many other things but I was like last week or whatever I was like yeah I don't know what else to film a video of so I think I'm just gonna do a finish a sketchbook in a week and I finished it in like three days so that was cool um, but yeah, this video is really just, I'm gonna kind of chit chat about some art updates and sketchbooking in general. Uh, maybe like a couple tips for those of you who have some sketchbook anxiety like I used to have and which I have since banished. Um, so yeah, I guess the first thing I'll start with is maybe a little tip that I have when it comes to not knowing what to draw or what to do in your sketchbook. And I mean, this is all really dependent on what type of artist you are and what kind of art you like to make. But if you're just kind of like, I'm not sure, I don't really know what to do, I think the best way to do it is to pull up Pinterest or I guess Google if you wish um, and like I make a ton of Pinterest boards with reference images of either just like things I like um, reference photos for animals and birds and flowers uh, landscapes and you just kind of like scroll through and then Pinterest basically just learns what you like anyways based off of that uh, so sometimes even your front page can just be a great place if you're like, I literally don't know what to do, I don't know where to start. Just go there, scroll through, have more than one thing pulled up. If you're like, I want to sit down, I want to draw, have more than one thing pulled up and just go. Get your materials out beforehand, like have as much stuff at the ready as possible. Um, limit your distractions. I will sometimes put a movie on or a TV show, but not often. I'll usually have like a vlog in the background. Um, like, I don't know what it is, but other people making art makes me want to make art as well. But yeah, I would just say, yeah, like have everything ready. That is my biggest tip is have a bunch of things you're going to need. Um, and just have it ready. Make it easy for yourself. That is the best way to start. So my next tip would be to work or start in your comfort zone. I know a lot of people like to use sketchbooks to do skills practice. I have sketchbooks for different purposes, but um, when I'm wanting to work in my kind of like doodly get in the zone, in the flow, um, kind of more free sketchbook, I like to start despite that in if I'm unmotivated or if I'm kind of like eh, I don't know um, I like to start with something I like to draw that I know like time and time again I always go back to and for me that is birds or flowers but as you can see here I'm working on these birds I realized I had like really never drawn robins before and I was like why is that like you see them all the time in the spring and like Chris the other day had gotten out of bed before me for probably the first time ever 
And he was like, hey, look at that big bird out, outside, out in the tree, in the front yard. And I was like, oh, a big bird? Like, what? And I got very excited, and I, like, jumped out of the bed, and I looked out the window, and I was like, oh. He's like, oh, I think it's just a fat robin. I was like, yeah, it's definitely just a fat robin. Um, but that's okay, because I was like, I shouldn't diss on the robins, because they are, you know, a sure sign of spring. And we love that. I, I love that. Spring is possibly the best time of the year for me. I love summer. I'm a sun person. I love the sun. I love the warmth. But spring is like, finally, you, you can feel good again. You're like, oh my god, I'm alive. I made it through winter. Look at the birds. Look at all the buds on the trees. Look at all the flowers. Things are green again. And yeah, we're finally getting there. So anyways, that was a bit of a digression, but back to what I was saying, um, yeah, go and pick out something that's, that you love to draw, that like, you know you love to draw, not just something you love, something you like love to draw. If you're really into, you know, portraits or drawing animals or you like drawing objects or, you know, even if you're talking about the style of drawing that you like to do start there and really just like that action of uh like moving your hand and getting your brain into that like drawing mindset and mode is going to be a great way to kick start some art making uh, at least i find for me that is the best way to do it um especially again when you know you set yourself a little bit of a goal like finishing eight spreads in a week and you're like, I don't know, uh, I feel like I'm going to run out of things to draw. What do I start with? And you just go with it. Last night, I was just kind of like on a roll uh, with drawing. And I realized that I like accidentally basically finished my sketchbook. I have like the, the back page. A singular page left to do um, which I wasn't expecting I thought I had a full another spread and that left um, there are a couple pages that I don't like love so maybe I'll extend it and like add a sheet of paper that I've drawn on into it I don't know to cover up the ugly ugly or like the pages where I'm like ew like I don't want to show this but I also might not and I might just finish this final page that snuck up on me and yeah but now I'm like it's the last page what do I draw I don't know I have to decide so I'm gonna do that and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself I'm kind of sad because I like I love the um I, can you see the stickers on this sketchbook I love this is like these three are Uno draws. This is my own. And then I have my own book nerd and some Uno draws. And then these are a couple are uh, Wild Made Goods, who's also a Canadian artist. And she has amazing stickers and I love them. Um, but yeah, crazy. Basically, what I was trying to say was about the sketchbook is that. Um, I either need to get a new one or use one I already have. The problem is the type of sketchbook I've been enjoying is like good with like ink and pen and some marker and thicker paper. And I really only have that kind of in a small size, which I don't really love. I prefer like a medium to larger size sketchbook. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Um, yeah, I prefer like a medium or a larger, not like a pocket size generally. So I don't know what to do about that. I don't really want to cough up the shillings for a moleskin, which is certainly more than shillings. Um, right now, at least. Especially to take it with me traveling for a week. But I also would like to have a sketchbook that I want to draw in. It's a dilemma. I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, it doesn't really matter right now because right now we're just 
gonna finish the one we have, the last page. Um, so yeah, see you soon. So these are the ones I did yesterday. Don't love, don't hate, pretty accurate. They were very quick and on my lap that I did them, so I can't hate too much. But yeah, or whatever. Um, this page I kind of like. Again, a don't love, don't hate kind of vibe. Um, but it was fun. Uh, yeah, I am definitely, I'm dying. Like, I'm, you know, it's like a tease at this point, spring, where it's like, you can tell it's here, but it's not like 100% here. It's kind of still like reticent. It's like, I don't know, guys, maybe you want a little bit more snow again, especially here in Northern Ontario. But that said, by the time we are back from the Bahamas, it will most definitely be beyond that point pretty much. And then this was the last page I did last night. And I like really liked these little whatever here, but this one I really liked. And I love these cacti. I don't know. Completely random, but I really liked them. And I didn't want to fill any more spots. I'm afraid to ruin it because I just like these so much. And yeah, let's go. That is like my mindset right now. I am ready for a freaking adventure. I want to like, again, spring, summer, the vibe is here. We're going again, like I said, away for a week. And I'm like, I'm dying. I want to go. I'm so excited to go be somewhere new and just try new things, see new things. It's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world to do is to just go on adventures and like see and observe new places and things and objects and creatures and plants and yeah I'm stoked um not that this is gonna be that kind of trip but it'll just be nice to be somewhere different I have found for me at least that the best way to approach your sketchbook is to just ignore and I mean I know I've given you tips but like ignore all of the advice that you hear or like the things where people tell you what your sketch sketchbook should be what should you should do with it you know it doesn't have to be that it can be like literally anything you want for me when i was younger i was so afraid of like making mistakes in my sketchbook or like knowing i had to share it i know a lot of people have anxiety about their sketchbooks because you see a lot of these like perfect spreads or these like fully finished paintings and it's that doesn't that's a person using the medium as though it was a canvas or a piece of fine art paper it's it, you don't have to use it that way and your sketchbook doesn't have to look that way i mean like for me my favorite parts of my sketchbook are all those weird ugly drawings that end up in there things where you're like oh my god <laughs> this is horrifying and you don't want to share it kind of but now I, I kind of do I don't know I think if you can like just kind of learn to let go of your worries as if it's that simple but but seriously like stop creating some expectation for yourself or letting what you see create an expectation for yourself because you know, I have sketchbooks, like the ones that I've seen or shown on here that you see, like that's not all I work in. That's not all I do. And I can show my ugly sketchbooks if you want, or my like ones where I just do skills practice or I just do like a quick idea. I personally don't actually really like um, working on product ideas in my sketchbook. I don't know why. Uh, I used to do that and I just, I don't know, I don't like it. It feels too targeted to like I feel like I lose a bit of freedom and I get like I set myself up to like create the final product in the sketchbook for some reason um, so I just don't do it I just don't do it in there and that's all you have to do is kind of learn yourself learn what you like to do learn how you like to do it and you'll be good don't sweat it okay just don't great